two lengths there. On the inside, there is Stern Maiden, then comes Obsession upon the outside, there is Priceless Treasure. Rajputana in that order as they entered into the straight. They have a little over 350 meters to go and it is uh, Stern Maiden on the outside with Driftwood Pacific on the inside rail. Stern Maiden goes ahead of Driftwood Pacific, then comes Obsession, followed by Priceless Treasure, then there's Rajputana on the inside rail, there is uh, on the outside is Driftwood Pacific, but as they go inside the last 150 meters there, and it's Stern Maiden being driven out there. Stern Maiden, the winner of the first race from... Hi, congratulations. How was the first race for you? First of all, thanks, ma'am. Last time, Philly was got checked. Today, trainer interaction. Be there, serve forth, and keep in outside only, and do your best. She won easy, ma'am. Olympic duel in the center is Rushmore. On the inside is Uncle Sam, then comes Queen Saul. Going inside the last 350 meters there, Pinewood still holding on. Pinewood length and three quarters from Henrietta. Uncle Sam on the inside. The one looking good on the outside there is Rushmore. Then there's Queen Saul. On the wide outside there is uh, Demisthenes. Koi in the center. Going inside the last 100 meters. Rushmore has gone ahead now. In the last 100 meters, Pinewood a length and a half clear of uh, Henrietta. It's Rushmore winning this one from Koi finishing up second. Then there's Euphoric Masterpiece Royal Emblem upon the outside. There is Mystical Magician Abilitaire. They swing around the corner and enter into the straight. They have a little over 300 to go. It's Conscious Keeper has gone ahead with Django coming up on the outside. And so is Euphoric. And these two have pulled away by about three and a half to four from uh, Masterpiece. Then there's Visaka followed by Roka on the inside rails. Going inside the last 150. It is Django has gone ahead, drifting out of the crate court. But maintaining that lead of over two lanes from Euphoric. Going for the wide now, Django lifting off the third race from Euphoric Masterpiece, then there's Hi Yash, congratulations. Uh, thanks. Uh, Django is running for the first time. He was working very well and uh, we expected him to run well and he proved us right. Outside, wonderful error, then comes dominant, then there's bring it on, roses in my dreams. Going inside the last 150 meters there, and it's walking, they've been driven out there, ahead by about a length and a quarter from wonderful error coming up, and so also is dominant on the far side. Then there is uh, War Chieftain going into the last 150 meters there. It is walking, they've still driven out, ahead by about length and a half there, in front of uh, Moresco finishing up second dominant. Mr. Deepesh, congratulations. That was an easy win. What were your thoughts watching that race? He's a good horse and he's proved us right again. He's got a heart. He gallops his heart out and he's won his second race in a row. I hope he does it again next time. Hi, Yash. Congratulations. Two races back to back. Yeah. Walking Brave won a mile in his last start. We were confident that he'll stay the nine furlongs. So uh, we planned it accordingly and I rode him to stay.
they have a little of font to go and it is uh, Timeless remains up on the outside, Terminator on the near side. And these two are ahead by what three quarters from Shivratri coming up in the center and so Cheposa Springs followed by Steeler Eyes going inside the last 150 meters. It is timeless romance on the wide outside rails with Shivratri gathering momentum on the inside rails. It could be a close call, but Shivratri it is a pulse off from Silk Steeler Eyes. Mr. Sebastian, congratulations. What instructions did you give Nikhil and how did it pan out for you? They told him to be up there. If you can go to the front, go to the front. If not, sit second, third and do your best. So I, that was the also instruction earlier on, but then he got interfered on the first day. So I was quite sure that she could make it today. Hi Nikhil, congratulations. How was the race for you? Uh, the race was nice. Uh, she didn't show too much of initial speed, but uh, of the straight when I got that opening and I asked her for it, she came home with a brilliant turn of foot and she won well, I think. She won very well. Glenary now decides to take up the charge ahead by about two and a half to three from Embrace. Upon the outside there is Krisha's choice. Then comes Miss Boss tucked up on the inside is Butterfly followed by Fun Storm on the wide outside Lady Royal Empress Eternal go inside the last 250 meters there and it is uh, on the inside rails is Glenary still holding by about length and three quarters from Fun Storm coming up on the outside and so also is Lady Royal. But as they go for the wide now it's uh, Glenary from. Uh, Fun storm, that's the one and two, then there's Lady Royal. Hi Mr. Dhruv, congratulations. What were your thoughts watching this race? Oh, I was thrilled. It was a really nice race. Uh, she ran a really uh, nice race going to the front and holding on at the end. She's had a long layoff, almost uh, almost a year now since she ran last and she ran previously in Bangalore. And uh, so it was nice. I was very excited about uh, this run and I'm glad she delivered. And for me also it was special because this is the first winner for Mr. Pati uh, training with me. So it was a very special win. What is the future plan for this horse? Well, we'll give her some time off, let her enjoy the win. Uh, let her come back a little bit stronger and then we'll we'll target the same distance and hopefully do a repeat. Hi Gaurav, congratulations. What can you tell me about this race? Uh, thank you. She's a nice filly. She's a front runner. So I had a clear instruction of going to the front and wait till anyone challenges me. So I did it and uh, while coming into the straight, I, see, I saw that no one is coming for me. So I decided to wait. After 300, I picked up my momentum and went for her and we won the race. the 500 meters then this magical wish queen of venice storm flag they are well into the straight now little over 400 to go and it's wakanda the leader by what length and three quarters from judy blue eyes in second on the inside namakwa gets a lovely opening then there's mon general on the far side then there's celeritas followed by star waves and magical wish going inside the last 150 meters there and it is wakanda ahead by about one and three quarter lengths with mon general coming up on the outside but it's going to be wakanda by about two and a half three now in front of uh, mon general Wakanda wins this one from Mount General, Judy Blue Eyes, Namakwa, Magical Wish. Hi Mr. Mandana, congratulations. What instructions did you give to Umesh? Uh, I told Umesh to sit second, second. On her own, go to the front, let her go to the front. Mm -hmm. So he took the channel and went to the front. Mm -hmm. Last time she ran a good second, so she was she won very well. Hi Umesh, congratulations. You won the first and the last race today. How was it? How was the race for you? First of all, thanks ma'am, getting two winners, first and last race. First race I won easy ma'am, because there are no competition, long time pending fillies. And last race is number four is hot favourite. Uh, there is a fighting chance, but Philly was won well ma'am. 